everyone welcome to patty's polish corner today is the youtubers weekly nail art stamping collab and hosting this one is dolphin chick nails and the theme is geometric shapes so um everybody's link to their videos will be in the description box below when i have them our instagram account links are down there as well follow us on instagram let's take a look at everyone's pictures mine will be the last one and then i'll show you how i created it so let's get started Today I'll be using Waves Gel's Base Gel and Shiny No Clean Top Gel. And for my base color, I'll be using Clear Water. The base coat is applied and now I'll be um, applying Clear Water. Just applying it in thin coats and cleaning up any mistakes before you cure it. Oh my gosh, this is, this is practically a one coater. I'm not actually sure that it even needs a second coat. I'm just going to give it a second coat because it's weird not putting a second coat of nail polish on your nails. Um, this is really completely pigmented. So that's pretty awesome. I just feel, I see like a little bitty sheer spot right on that nail. The other ones will be... Um, there's not actually even one on this nail that I'm painting now. The other ones will actually all be covered with stamping. So I could get away with not um, putting a second coat at all. But this one here is not going to have any stamping on it. So definitely need to darken that little spot up a little bit. So I'm just going to finish this up and cure it. And then we'll come right back. Let me just say, wow, <laughs> these look really amazing. I like these. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some jellies, fairy dust on there. Yes, I've been using fairy dust in a lot of my videos because, I don't know, I'm like really addicted to fairy dust right now. I don't know. I don't know why. <laughs> but I am just... I'm really loving the hollow goodness of it and I just um, I just think it makes my nail polish look really nice right now so I'm gonna do that let's see let's get let's see if we can get it up there we go we can get a nice close there you go now you can see look how pretty that is that is gorgeous. All right, so I'm going to finish that up on my other fingers and then cure it and come back. Okay, so I've top coated my index finger and my middle finger and the other ones I just removed the checkulator because now we're going to do some stamping. So today I'm going to use my Lena Feeling Shapely 09. And this has a lot of nice images on it. I'm really liking that. I'll have to use that sometime. And um, right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these little squares right here. Because I was just going to do some like big geometric shape. And then I'm like, wait, I just love this little square pattern. So that's what I'm going to use. And today I'm going to use my super sticky queen stamper. And my Bundle Monster Scraper because it's just hanging out there on my desk. For the stamping polish, I'm going to use the um, 
the regular polish from my Wave Gel Shades of Charcoal collection. I don't have a dark gray stamping polish and I think that's really what I want to use on here so that it shows up really well. So um, I'm going to give this a go. Some of the Wave Gel regular polishes stamp really well. Now this one looks a little bit on the sheer side. Not very pigmented. But we are getting a stamp. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, I like how that turned out. That looks good. Okay, so I'm going to stamp my other two fingers. Okay, so let's do another one. And I'll put dark gray stamping polish on my list. Things to buy. Okay, there we go. Like in that. And here is the last one. Oops, I got something right here. Oh, thanks a lot, Gucci. Scare the living daylights out of me today. Oops, and I dropped that thing. But anyways, it's successful. So all is well with the world. So now we are ready to um, seal in the design with top coat. So I will go ahead and cure this and we'll come back and take a look and see how we like it. So here is the um, finished look. I am really liking it. I love how, let's see if we can get the hollow to show up on camera. Usually if I bring it real close to the lens, there you go. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. I like that. Anyways, I like this design. I hope you guys do too. If you like the video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.